In this session, we'll show a process that can be used by many companies with uncomplicated product flow and specifications, and that is to use the mobile WMS solution to receive items related to a purchase order. We'll show you how to make a partial receipt and a full receipt. So let's have a look. We're going to use the purchase order shown on the screen that we have created in advance. The purchase order includes three items with different setups, one without any tracking, one with batch tracking and one with serial number tracking. So we'll start the receive process by pressing the receive button on the mobile device. The device shows us the possibility to choose all warehouse locations or we can choose a specific warehouse that we want to use. In this case I want to use the warehouse number 22 with the delivery date as shown on the device. So when I press apply I get a list of available receive orders. I will check if the order is on the list, but if it's not on the list, I'll have to press confirmation on the purchase order in AX, just like this, because it will not appear on the mobile device unless we press confirm. Then we can go back to the device and now we can see the purchase order on the top of the list. We will just have to go back to the menu and press receive once again, and then you can see the order on the top of the list. And when I double click on it, you can see that the items on the mobile device and in AX they match. So now we're all set. At this point I'm able to work completely offline because the order lines are now downloaded on the device. First, I want to make a partial receipt on the purchase order. I scan the item number, I scan the location, I scan the serial number, and now I have received one out of two for this item. If I want to report that I have received this item, then I can go to the sub menu by pressing the burger button and press post. When I do this, I can either scan the packing slip number or enter it manually. And in this case, I will enter it manually on the device. This device has a physical keyboard. You can of course use the on-screen keyboard by pressing the keyboard button on the screen if your device comes without a physical keyboard. So now the AX updates and it posts successfully. So just to show you that it's updated in AX, I will go to the client, click on general, line quantity, and now you can see I have received one out of two. So let's receive the rest of the items. So I scan the item, the application asks for a location, so I scan the location and I scan the new serial number. And now I have received the rest of this order line. To go to the next order, you can just scan the next item. I scan the location and I accept the quantity. As you can see, it's now updated with 5 out of 5 and the check mark on the device screen. So I'll scan the last item and this is the one with the batch number. And the app tells me what to do. So I scan the item, I scan the location, I scan the batch number and accept the quantity. The registrations are now complete and the application asks if I want to post the order. I can either accept and post or if there's no Wi-Fi I can click no to work on other order lines and return later for posting. The data is stored locally on the device so if the connection fails then the data is saved. In this case I will press yes and once again I must enter the packing slip number and again I'll do it manually with the physical keyboard. Now the posting has completed and I can go back to the order in the AX client. And as you can see all the items have now been fully received. That was how you can receive items related to a purchase order using the mobile WMS solution for Dynamics AX.